go. Good morning YouTube, this is Jim and we are in Beaverton, Oregon. Last week I filmed a video where I took this tank and turned it from a floating raft tank like the one there to a flood and drain grow bed like we see here now. The way I did that was to install a bell siphon in the bottom center uh, by way of a Schedule 80 uh, bulkhead fitting that I installed. I have since then plumbed it to the uh, sump tank, which is none of this is working because I have the water turned off right now, so we can't film too well with it on for noise purposes. So anyhow, I have filled this with uh, the media. It's uh, expanded clay, and it's started to quit floating quite as much as going to settle down pretty nicely and I'm going to run uh, buckets uh, inside this that are about an inch below the uh, top of the water when it comes up so every time the water comes up it gets the bottom of these buckets uh, wet. So what I thought I would do first is show you how I put these together. I'm going to build some little ones that go next to them and they're absolutely identical except for the size. So. First thing I'm going to do is I cut some little circles of burlap, putting those in there. The one in the bottom is to keep the expanded clay from uh, getting through the holes in the bottom. That's uh, roughly halfway up. Let me put this a little more in there. And then on top of that, we're going to put two more of these. Pretty wide burlap, so a few tight burlap one would do, I'm sure. And so, then we're going to fill the rest of it up with potting soil. Like so. And I'm not going to plant this one today, but when we do plant, uh, then we'll be able to fertilize it from above and from below. So that's going to go right like so. So I planted one of these big pots already. This is a tomato. It's actually a uh, patio tomato. And I'm going to plant the second one now just to show you how I do it. So what I do is dig out a hole about the size of the container. I'll set that there just for now. That you're going to plant. That's perfect. I'm sure somebody else has a better way to do this, but this is the way I do it. There we go. What are we going to uh, put a little water on here? The good thing about this place is we have lots of water. So there we have it. Uh, we'll have to just see how it goes. So the last thing I wanted to do today was to show you how we plant in the expanded clay. So this stuff, if you, if you dig your hand in, it just fills the hole right up behind it. So I didn't think this up and I do not remember where I got it, but if you take a piece of, uh, I believe that's three inch PVC uh, pipe or ABS pipe, and you take the pipe down in there, then you can uh, scoop the balls out. This works real well except for when the water 
Oh, the water's not on right now, so you just gotta kind of turn it. So now, yeah, you can look down in there. You can see you can get a hole down in there. Now I'm gonna take this, this is broccoli. It was in these uh, small cups. Pull that off the top. There you have it. So the PVC pipe planning is the tip of the day. So I will uh, see you next week.